Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayuame Sale, and today I have Olamide Onifade and I in the studio, looking all black. Did you get a memo from I you? don't know for you. <laughs> Me. You know this week, eh? Hmm. What happened? This week has tough. been an interesting week. As, uh, I just had to oh, cry very, oh. very hard on Monday. Oh. By the time I think, I think when I finally, when I finally cried, I cried for everything that has been happening that I've hmm. been bottling up. Okay, it was know. just an, an avenue oh, to I vent to, out. I needed yeah. to bust that tears out. The the floodgates of heaven. I was crying for two straight days. Oh, oh my goodness! I cried Ooh, Monday. I cried Tuesday. Oh, can you imagine? Yesterday I came back from work and um, I went to the dining and I saw pamphlets of their um, funerals my husband has attended this week and they were three wow i was reading obituaries back to back hmm. do you know um i think when i heard about rdj's um passing do you know i didn't really feel anything hmm. you know why i've heard too many, many deaths that i am now building a kind of immunity towards you know hmm. the kind of grief i think you've just you've that just tried to block you. off that no, emotional. I just don't understand. We're mm. losing, gradually losing our humanity. Mm. Because you hear somebody died and I didn't on. feel that. Mm. Because it is just overwhelming. Ah, mm. I so think sad. So. so sad. I think so. But you know what? Life has to go and we'll move on. Today is my little nephew's birthday. Oh. Yeah, yesterday was his mommy's birthday. We did shout out for her so that he yeah. will not crucify me. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Sean's birthday. So happy birthday, Sean Ojeku. I love you. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy my, birthday. My, they, he, we, so I went, that was where I got the shawarma from. You know, she made, she said, you know, me, I'm not a typical Nigerian, no food. So she did uh, burgers, um, shawarma. Uh, what is what? Fried yam and sauce. Really? Mm. I say okay. Oh, man, I know and it was really nice. <laughs> it was really nice. I didn't know it was homemade. I thought it, it was home. No, it was homemade. I don't eat shawarma outside anymore. I don't even eat it at all. No, I don't eat it outside anymore. I make my shawarma at home myself. Oh. Yeah. All right, so here's what we found as today's quote. Either we reduce the world's population voluntarily or nature will do this for us, but brutally. That's for Maurice Strong. What do you think? Well, personally, it's been my opinion in the past few years that we are overpopulated in Nigeria. And Isn't Nigeria no, in the world safe? No, I don't even have any business with the world. <laughs> <laughs> but for Nigeria, because we don't have commensurate facilities and amenities that to cater for the exponential growth, growth in our of our population. So yeah. I have always been anti-population. Huh. I mean, and you say you want to go for one more child, Debbie? Uwa. Uh, that. You are part of the people. You remember what the Honorable Minister said now when I asked him about infrastructure? He said, We are the part of the people that are, that are still having children. Ooh, I, I, just, I said it. I didn't mean it. Oh, really? <laughs> it was just a thought. Are you changing your mind? That now? crossed my mind. Of course. <laughs> because it, I'm just trying to put it out there that you are part of the people contributing to the to the population that was called. <laughs> it's just a wish. Well, uh, don't wish that kind of wish. But the, the truth is, um, you know, in all honesty, with all the happenings hap um, globally, with the pandemic and all of that, you know, you really must, you must wonder, is it nature trying to, you know what, Same help, yes, mind. help us, you know, reduce our numbers or whatever, you know, because now, yesterday, EC took a story that um, the Chinese people are saying again that um, there's one new, um, what's it called? One new virus you that know, doesn't I have blocked, any name. When I read it, I just blocked, completely blocked my No, mind. but you can't block it. You have to be, you, wow. you have to go I'm and read and know what's happening. COVID. I don't have that capacity. So that's what we're saying now. So that's why she was saying that there's a conspiracy, conspiracy theory. theory going out about pandemic or whatever. It's not a, it's not a pandemic. It was planned to, know, eliminate yeah, to eliminate a certain people, percentage to reduce the numbers. People. And trust me, when I was looking out for quotes for today, it was all about reduction of human beings, reducing. In fact, there was one quote I saw that about 350,000 people need to be eliminated on a daily basis for us oh to have goodness. a stable, econ um, what's it called, um, population that would match the, I say, uh -uh. the environment. So, I mean, so it's actually quite alarming when you, when you look at the, the numbers and we are going to be like the third world largest um, uh, in terms of population size. So are we ready? For that, in we Nigeria. already are. We already. Well, we're are. not there yet. We're not. Well, we're no, going I think there. we are overpopulated. No, we are, not there yet. are you so, sure? <laughs> yeah. So today our focus is on the Nigerian population. Is it a blessing or will pose a problem in the future? And we have Devo Okoye to discuss this. But first, let's take a break for what's in the news.